in one of the hottest places on earth along an arid stretch of the east african afar region it's possible to stand on the exact spot where deep underground three tectonic plates are slowly moving apart oh, 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 you are God. kidding me Google. absolutely Google. awesome <laughs> This movement, scientists believe, will cleave the African continent in two and create a new ocean right in the middle. I was expecting a small crack in the ground. Oh my lord, this is fantastic. Large crack stretching several kilometers made a sudden appearance recently in southwestern Kenya. This was all flat surface until about a week ago. The land was softened by a combination of heavy rains and seismic activity causing the earth to split. The tear, which continues to grow, caused part of the Nairobi Narok Highway to collapse. Farmlands were separated down the middle and water supplies were cut. Initially, the appearance of the crack was linked to tectonic activity along the East African Rift Valley. But although geologists now think that this feature is more likely an erosional gully, questions remain as to why it has formed in the location that it did and whether its appearance is at all connected to the ongoing East African Rift or the fact that the continent is splitting apart. Welcome, this is the African scientist. Now calm down, the process is expected to take millions of years. Recently scientists discovered a 57 kilometer long crack in this Ethiopian desert. In the geological scale, Earth is a constantly changing planet, even though clearly the changes happening in it are not easily noticeable by our measly human lifespans. Plate tectonics is a good example of this. However, every now and again, something dramatic like what happened in the Afar Desert in Ethiopia reminds us of just how malleable the surface of the Earth is. Although the structure and nature of the African tectonic plates has been studied for many years, new satellite data is helping scientists to better understand and map the gradual change and transition that are taking place in many parts of the continent. For this reason, the Great Rift Valley that runs right from the north of Africa through the East African region and further south has become a special area of study to map and understand how continental rifts can change to become oceanic rifts. Prepare your calendar and mark the date. Africa's new ocean is expected to take 5 to 10 million years to form. The Afar region is only more sensitive to this movement because it lies between the boundaries of the Nubian, Somali, and Arabian plates, making it a good laboratory to study the tectonic processes that are taking place right underneath our feet. Christopher Moore, PhD student from the University of Leeds in the United Kingdom, has been doing one such study using satellite data to monitor and map out tectonic shifts and volcanic movements associated with the breakup of the African continent. Here is a short refresher on the tectonic plate theory. The Earth's crust is made up of several large tectonic plates that are gradually moving against each other, mashing against each other and sliding across each other in a movement almost likened to that of ice floating on water. Well, because of course, our mantle is in a molten state. In fact, for the past 30 million years, the Arabian plate has been slowly moving away from the African plate, a process that created the Red Sea and the Gulf of Eden between these two connected land masses. The Somali plate is also slowly sliding away from the Nubian plate, peeling along the Great Rift Valley that stretches across several East African countries. Some big questions remain on what exactly is driving this sudden movement in the recent years. Some scientists have speculated that plumes of superheated rocks rising from underneath the East African region could be the driving force behind the continental rift taking place today. GPS technology has greatly revolutionized this field as their accuracy enables scientists to make precise measurements of the movements of land masses over time. With GPS measurements, it is possible to measure the movement down to a few millimeters 
millimeters every year. As more and more measurements are being gotten from GPS, clearer picture is being painted of what exactly is happening and how quickly the process is taking place. Each plate boundary is moving at a different speed. However, the combined forces of these movements is expected to form what is called a mid-ocean ridge where eventually an ocean would form. The Gulf of Eden and the Red Sea will one day flood over the Afar region and flow deep into the East African Rift Valley, becoming a new ocean. Countries attached to the Somali tectonic plate will form their own small little island in this new ocean. The rifting process occurring in the Great Rift Valley has been shown not to be a smooth process, but it could be characterized by sudden movements and jerks, creating huge cracks like those that have been recorded in parts of Kenya and Ethiopia. Perhaps one day this movement will even trigger a magma flow from underneath. Because of this tension that is being experienced on the thin crust, especially in this region of Africa, the overfilling has been likened to the surface of a balloon that slowly stretches until it cannot stretch any longer and breaks apart. In fact, with time, this process is only expected to intensify, with more and more cracks appearing in various regions along the Rift Valley. The Arabian plate is moving away from the African plate at about one inch per year, while the Somali plate and the Nubian plate are moving apart from each other at about 0.2 inches per year. Despite their glacial pace, these movements have been characterized by researchers to be a true sign of the transition that is taking place. To the south, where the Rift Valley is younger, the extension rates are slow and the faulting occurs over a wider area. Towards the northern part of the Rift Valley, where the Afar region is found, the lithosphere, the thinnest part of the crust, has thinned out so much because of the higher speed at which the two plates are moving apart that it has reached a place of complete breakup. In a few million years, as the Somali plate slowly moves away from the Nubian plate, parts of Ethiopia and Kenya that are connected to the Somali plate will move along with it, and Africa will cease to maintain the shape that it now is in, but will in fact have an inland ocean. Maybe it will be called the Indian Ocean, or maybe finally will be given the chance to name it with an actual African name. Dramatic events, such as the formation of the fault line in the Afar region, or the splitting of the motorway in Kenya, give this process a sense of urgency. However, the process is quite slow and will take place over many eons. Perhaps after thousands of generations in the future, we'll get to experience this new African continent. So, is your country part of this that are splitting away from Africa? What is your take on this research? Let me hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoy this kind of science content, why don't you consider subscribing? Because we have a lot more content in the pipeline. And also like this video so that it can be suggested to more people. Hey, we have a new podcast now. It's called the African Scientist Podcast, the only place on the internet where African voices speak science. Click on the link in the description to find out what that's all about. If you would like to support our independence, you can use this link to buy us some coffee. Thanks. Despite the constant media attention on COVID-19, other viral diseases are slowly taking hold in Africa. I made a video about it that you can find linked on the pop-up banner. This is the African scientist, science from an African perspective. YouTube thinks you may like this video, so why don't you click on it and find out if they're right.